when last we left this love story. If you change your mind, I'm the first in line. You can always work for me. And me. I'd love to work with you. Sorry guys, Kathy is with me now. And now. You got here just in the nick of time. That is my name. Welcome back to Cat President. I'm gonna f*** DJ Nibbles. Pamph. I'm sick of this happening every single time we hang out. Sick of what happening? Sick of guys falling over themselves trying to impress you. I mean, I know you're good looking, but why can't guys notice me for once? We've talked about this before. I don't have a bunch of guys falling over me all the time. Yeah, right. Six presidential candidates just bent over backwards to get you a job. It's not because of your experience, I can tell you that. Why didn't they offer me a job as a campaign manager? Probably because you didn't ask? No, I bet it's because of my earrings. They're too big and they scare men away. Maybe I should switch to studs. That could get me a super hot presidential boyfriend boss cat. What? DJ Nibbles isn't my boyfriend. I just met him an hour ago. Oh, please. He's totally into you. Just like every other guy you meet. Mudda mudda. Ha. Well, if DJ Nibbles has a brother, I'll be sure to introduce you to. Really? You are the best friend ever! I left Lizzie to her own devices and went to the backstage area. DJ Nibbles was waiting for me inside the green room. Ooh, is it, uh... <clears throat> it's, uh, getting a little warm in here. Kathy, good to see you. Are you ready to help win the presidency? You bet. I'm glad to be your campaign manager. Great! You know what you're... The, pfft, you know what you're going to do? I... Well, to be honest, I don't know what a campaign manager does. That's okay, neither do I. I'm just sort of making things up as I go along with this campaign. Um, really? Yeah, that's been a common complaint against me. He can't be president. He's too young and inexperienced. He has no idea what he's doing. On and on like that. Can you believe it? Just because I'm young, that doesn't mean I don't have enough experience. Well, how much experience do you have? I have experience in the Senate! Oh, so you're a senator then? Um, uh, um, no. A junior senator? Close! I was an honorary junior senator for a day! That was such a fun day, I decided to run for president! Um... Good for you. It's nice to see young kittens follow their dreams. Yeah, I may be just a kitten, but I can be president. I mean, it can't be that hard. Look at some of the other cats who have been president. If they can do it, why can't I? Hmm, you have a point. And besides, we need a fresh face in the sharp claw political field. Not a bunch of old boring cats like Crusher. Uh, Crusher? He's, um... I guess you could say he's my rival. I'm from South Carolina, and he's from North Carolina. Crusher started out as number one, but his poll numbers have been steadily decreasing ever since. He keeps blaming me for stealing the Carolina voting block. In fact, I'm pretty sure he's the one who spray painted my call earlier today. Wrote, Nibbles misrepresents constituents in big letters on the hood. Jokes on him though, that car is a rental. Wow. <laughs> Uh, sounds like I should keep an eye out for this cat. Yeah, if you could get him off my back, that'd be great. And if you could help improve my image in the press, that'd be even greater. They keep saying I'm wild and reckless. Uh, well, I can understand why people think that. Uh, no offense, but you seem a little... impulsive. If you acted more serious and professional, people would be more inclined to take you as a serious candidate. Aw, oh, but being serious and professional is boring! I prefer running around and having fun! Well, maybe we can use that to our advantage. Uh, vote DJ Nibbles. He's young and full of life. Yeah, that sounds great! I knew hiring you was a great idea. You're good looking and smart. Oh, well, uh, <clears throat> well, I, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, thanks. So, uh, <clears throat> what's the, uh, what's the plan for the campaign? Well, we're going to stick around here for a few days before moving to Miawa. They're having a primary there next week, and we want to win over as many voters as possible. Well, great. What kind of voters do you want to reach out to? The kind that will vote for me! Well, let me rephrase that. 
Do you want to appeal to young voters? Old voters? Minorities? Majorities? Liberal? Conservatives? Who? Well, I don't know. That sort of stuff is boring. Why don't you decide for me? Uh, that's, uh, the sort of thing you really need to figure out for yourself. Uh, do I have to? Can we let the polls decide? I know lots of politicians do whatever the polls tell them to. Maybe we could try that. Is, um... <sighs> okay, I'm not trying to be mean here, but... Do you really want to become president? Because if you win the election, you'll have to deal with this sort of stuff all the time. I will? Can't I make it my policy not to deal with boring things? Uh, no, you can't, and it probably won't help your campaign if you keep saying politics is boring. Well, it is. That's why I want to be a politician. I'm not going to change it. Or well, actually, I'm going to change it from a snooze fest to a play fest. The world needs a change, and I'm the cat to bring it. I can't fault him for enthusiasm, but he seems a little underprepared for a presidential campaign. Well, maybe I should... Mm, I'm gonna work with him. We'll work on improving your policies. I'm sure you have them, even if you don't know what they are, like uh, gun control. What's your opinion on gun control? I think it's hard to control a gun without opposable thumbs. They're totally designed for humans, not cats. See? You're against gun control. That's a political policy. It is? Wow! I didn't know coming up with policies was that easy. Do all politicians make up new policies after two seconds of thinking about it? Uh, some do. I'll come up with a list of important political topics and we can go over them later. Maybe we'll turn that into a policies section on your website. Sounds good to me, but... What is it? When you mentioned guns, it reminded me. I have a special job for you. One that might require using a gun. A gun job? What is it? I will remember his answer for the rest of my life. I need you to defeat the zombie invasion. The... zombie invasion? Yes, in the last election, 4 million people voted in Miawa. Well, what's wrong with that? There were only 3 million people living in Miawa. The other votes came from dead people. Zombies? Yes, I believe they are zombies. We need to find a way to stop these dead people from voting. If they're voting for the fancy furballs, that is. If they vote for our party, then you should let them keep voting. Uh, r uh, right. Is there some kind of anti-zombie organization that I can... Suddenly a scream sounded from the hallway. That sounded like... Lizzie! I burst into the hallway with DJ Nibbles close at my heels. Yes! Yes, I'd love to! That's good. You stop tomorrow. Lizzie, is everything okay? It's better than okay. This cat just hired me as a campaign manager. Huh? My campaign has been lacking lately. She's gonna help fix it. Kathy, do you know this person? Yes, that's my best friend Lizzie. Your best friend? How could she work for him? Doesn't she know who he is? No. Who is he? This is my new boss, Crusher. Oh, wait. That's Crusher? DJ Nibbles had said Crusher was his number one rival in the campaign field. I thought Crusher would be a tough, hard-nosed cat based on his name. Seeing him in real life, he seemed kind of soft-spoken, underwhelming, and he kept taking awkward pauses in between his words. Nibbles, your candidacy is not good. You should concede to me because I deserve to be president. Given to you, never. Everyone else in my family was president. I should be president too, you see. All I see is an old husband who's trying to kick me out of my rightful place. Whoa, let's not get personal, DJ Nibbles. Easy for you to say. Have you seen the attack ads he launched against my campaign? Those ads were true. You are just a foolish kitten. You'll break the government, but I'm... I'm gonna fix it. How dare you say that? I challenge you to a duel. A political duel. Um, what? Instead of arguing out in the hall, we're going to debate our issues on stage. 
Ooh, good idea. We could set up a Crush and Nibbles debate in Miawa next week, right after I defeat the zombie invasion. Zombie invasion? It's a long story. I accept your challenge. And Nibbles, it doesn't matter that you have a supermodel working for you. You must lose. Supermodel? Me? I told you all guys think you're hot. It's so not fair. Ugh. Well, looks like we're having a debate now. Lizzie, I'll contact you and work out the details later. Lizzie and Crusher left together. I turned on DJ Nibbles. I turned on DJ Nibbles. How could you do that? Do what? You challenged Crusher to a duel. That wasn't a very smart thing to do. I... I guess you're right, it's just... He got me mad, so I figured I had to do something to make him look stupid. TJ Nibbles, this is why people think you're reckless and impulsive. I'm sorry, I'll, I'll try to work on my self-control in the future. <sighs> Good. That's all I'm asking. Do you think I should call off the duel? No. This debate might actually be a good thing. It could increase your exposure. Well, good! I'm a great debater! What did you think about the debate tonight? <sighs> your debate style could use a little work. What do you mean? Well, sometimes you trip over your words, and I noticed that you lost your place twice. Well, that's not my fault! I just get so excited during debates, my brain doesn't keep up with my mouth! But hey, I'll work on that. Like you recommended. So you've got the debate, the policy thing to work out, and the zombies. I think that's everything. Is there anything I forgot? Nope. Uh, just give me your contact information and I'll be good to go. My phone number is meow 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 meow. Subscribe one time to see this happen next time! Well, I booked a plane flight for me to go to Miawa with Crusher tomorrow and I remember that your ex-boyfriend is living there now. So I thought I would call him. You called Bill?